Well, when you walk into a room and you see a gentleman uh, on a stretcher lying flat and the most prominent thing is sort of standing at attention between his legs, it's a little bit concerning. Help me. Doctor, you gotta fix this. I can't take it. We'll have to use a needle to drain the blood. You're gonna put a needle in my penis? We'll put you out first. Don't worry. The patient um, had a, quite a look of shock on his face. I'm not so sure it was as shocking as seeing his wife and his mistress in the same room. And he says to me, I've got a vibrator in my ass. How, how did this? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? It doesn't matter. Just take it out. Quietly. The patient certainly was in some underlying pain. I mean, it's an uncomfortable feeling because it's not a natural foreign body to be having in your rectum. It may not be that easy. I think it stopped. Oh, my dog, there it goes again. I'm going to start by seeing if I can locate it. I want you to lie on your side, facing away from me. You know, this would be a good time for you to tell me if any other surprises down there? So you say it's a stove stuck on his penis? Yeah, a camping stove. OK. How did this happen? You need to give the doctor a little more information than you gave me. Janie and I went camping for the weekend. We were drinking and smoking some weed. The stove had a knob missing. So Janie said, why don't you put it in there now? We get it. And for reasons that are still unclear today, the girlfriend said, why don't you put your penis in that hole and I'll get up under that the stove and perform oral sex. And of course, the guy says, OK. Then I couldn't get it out. It's been the downfall of many a great man. Mm -hmm.